was your first one? You hold the beekeeper. Okay. Yeah. So, this is the inner cover. These are the frames. Each frame has foundation, which is beeswax embedded with wires for support. And smell this. It smells good. Stick it right I, down there and smell it. Yeah, it smells good. It smells good, don't it? Yeah. So I gotta take uh, frames out to make room for the bees when I pour them in. Show me how this makes you feel, buggy. Woohoo! <laughs> and I'm gonna put my clothes on. Here is Ricky's homegrown recipe for bee soup. Bee soup? Mm hmm. So, I just know I'm forgetting Okay, so first I get cleaning. Queenie with her attendants. Oh, a whole bunch of attendants. You see that was too close. Okay. And the queen is in a little cage. I guess this is where I touch my touch bees for the first time. No, so, no squealing yet. No, actually, you see, see him blo blowing. They're just fanning. Mm -hmm. They're like blowing pheromones around. So what I have to do is get off there. Get off of me. Get off of me. I don't want to crush you. Just knock them off. And then I'm supposed to put a twisty around this. Well, first of all, here's this cap. There's candy in there. It's called fondant. It's real thick sugar syrup. And when the, uh, there's a queen, several attendants in there, when the, uh, when she gets installed and the other bees are in there, the other bees will feed those bees and those bees will feed the queen until three days later, they'll, or immediately they'll start eating this candy to get to the queen. Once they get it up, once they get in there, then the queen comes out. And by then they will have gotten, they will have drawn some comb and the queen will be uh, laying eggs almost immediately. So you check it three days later to make sure the queen has been released. You take this queen cage out. Bee's about to give you a kiss. Whoa! better. So now I hang Queenie right in here.
And Queenie has some other friends in here that got left behind. Just gonna leave this out. They'll, they'll find the queen. They can smell her and they will not go away. <clears throat> From the queen, that is. So now. These are the bees. Can you see them? Is there all, ten, all ten, all, all ten thousand, right? Or so, yeah. Three pounds of bees. No queen in here, but there's a can of syrup in there that they eat during shipping. So you take this lid off. Don't worry, the bees aren't going to come out yet. I'll tell you when it's, when it's time to run away. Yeah, be. how come you get to wear the suit and I don't have anything? Because you can run away whenever you can. Don't run away, walk away. But because, because if you stand 10 feet away, you won't even be bothered by any bees. Oh, I didn't know that they had a hole in here like that. So anyway. These are Italian bees. They're called Italian bees because they talk with their hands a lot and... Just kidding. Did you remember to put in that little gelato machine, honey? Huh? Okay, so... I'm gonna give this a good whack to get the bees off the can. Whoops! Not a sound I like to hear. Yeah, okay. I I'm not even scared at all. Maybe because I have the suit on, but I'm just gonna set this aside over here. No, I don't want it to be in the way of the camera. Set it down here for now. They'll all find their way into the hive because they can smell the queen. And they know they need her to have a... Okay, so, here we go. I'm going to knock these down, shake them in. Ugh. Too many bees. Okay, you can step back if you want. You're scared. I'm so frightened. Stop! <laughs> That's what a whole lot of bees. Yes, it is an awful lot of bees, isn't it? Boy, they're noisy too. Notice they're not attacking me. I mean, they're, I'm here, but they just, they're checking me out a little bit, but they're not. So, I probably won't be able to get, eh, let's try to get some more out. Okay, I'm just going to set this over here. So there they are. They're all in there. A few sitting on top. And... They know where the queen is. They're already starting to cluster around the queen. I'm going to leave this open for a few minutes just to watch because I'm in interested in it. But this is this is a pollen patty that's used for feeding the bees for supplemental feed while while the pollen before the pollen flow. There's not much pollen around right now, and not many flowers blooming yet, but... Um, okay, you can go, if, if you're... No, I'm really stunned that you're even still there. If I were you, I would be gone. <laughs> well, I don't mind it so much, except when they alight on my shirt and try to go into the pocket. That doesn't seem like a good plan. So, what's next? Um... Gracie and Eddie Murphy don't know quite what to think about this. It's 
garbage. Gracie! These guys. Eddie Murphy! It's your new brothers and sisters! <coughs> so what does it feel like to be standing here next to 10,000 bees and they're not bothering you at all? So. What's it like to be standing next to a disturbed beehive? Oh, it's, it's glorious. So, you can see there's the queen cage, and the bees are starting to cluster around them. And I'm guessing that if we were to wait 10 or 15 minutes, they'd all start forming a ball around them, kind of. But, they're at home, and they're going to start, well, they're going to sleep here tonight. They're not going to do much, but starting tomorrow morning, they're going to come out and start looking for pollen. And are you going to have an alarm clock going the for nectar. them? What's that? Going to have an alarm clock going for them? Uh, yeah. The bee alarm clock. Okay. So now... <clears throat> the bee, bee scraping procedure. You have quite a few bees on your bug. Do I? Mm-hmm. Imagine that. I wonder how that happened. Okay. I'm just amazed that you're not running around squealing with your arms flailing. I only do that when I don't have a bee suit on. Uh-huh. Go back in your house. Go back in your house, please. Now, if you watch videos of this on YouTube, people just, I mean, they just knock these bees around. They're not gentle with them at all. I mean, they must kill a lot of them. But I can't stand killing one of them. Not even one of your 10,000. Hmm. This is supposed to go on top. I know that, but uh, it doesn't seem to be fitting. Oh, I know. It's going to go in here. What are you guys talking about? So inside here, there's just enough of a gap. I don't even see how they... Anyway, the screen is for, this is a vented inner cover. The screen is for, if you want to leave it open, not let, or let ventilation go through, but not let them out. Um, these guys are going to be okay. Now I put the feeder. There's nothing in this feeder right now, but I'll come back later and put syrup in here. They, uh, they will find it. The syrup, syrup sits in here. They come up through a little tunnel up here and go down there and eat the syrup. Drink the syrup, whatever. And then this oh, just goes they, right... They already found the, the front door. Yeah, this goes right here. And... They will just find their way in there. It's amazing how smart they are. Maybe smart isn't the right word, but... <clears throat> so there you have it. One beehive. And there it is. And one happy beekeeper? Yep. <laughs>